You are listening to Who is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? A video series to honor and celebrate the life of our beloved Prophet Muhammad. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Mawlana Muhammadin wa ala ali Sayyidina Mawlana Muhammadin wa barik wa sallam alayhi. السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ قال اللہ تعالیٰ فی کتاب الکریم وما ارسلنا کا اللہ رحمۃ اللہ عالمین صدق اللہ العظیم اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ مینشنس پروفٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وََ وسلم ایز مرسی فار ہول یونیورس ایز وی ال نو دس از دا منتھ آف ربی الافل دا منتھ اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ بلیسڈ اس مسلمس with best of his creation our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who is ahsanul khalq who is insan kamil means the perfect human we all know that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as khatam al nabiyyin sallallahu alaihi wasallam for us as muslims it's crucial that we know learn and understand the character and seerah of our beloved prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam although there are many aspects of prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's seerah but at this very moment i would love to talk about the woman empowerment the respect the honor prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam blessed women in islam as we all know when Islam came in this world women were considered not even a human Islam subhanallah blessed women the status of beloved equal in the midst of the most sexist society of the world and Islam not only blessed women the status which is equal to men but sometimes we feel as islam subhanallah honor us women even more than men islam really want us women to meet our full potential when we look at the aspects of women empowerment in islam we see that when prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam came in this world daughters were buried alive because they were considered as a curse but subhanallah our prophet sayyidi wa murshidi muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam announced that daughters are the mercy of rab if a son is a blessing woman mean daughter is the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a hadith Once Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that whosoever raise their two daughters well and then marry them that person would be with me in jannah like these two fingers are one of the companions of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam stood up with the permission of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and asked o prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala What about the brother who look after his two sisters educate them empower them what about his reward and prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said his reward would be the same as he was the father of two daughters islam has given women very important role in muslim society When we look at the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we see that sahabiyat and ummatul mu'minin were not only the learners of Islam but they were the educators of Islam as well they were the narrator of ahadith they was the they were the mufassir of Quran when we look at the characters of ummul mu'minin hazrat aisha sadiqa radhiyallahu ta'ala anha we see her teaching sahaba ikram we see her spe- speaking publicly we see her leading the wars 
we see sahabiyat caring for wounded people we see them as business women we see them playing important role in every aspect of the society and here i would love to talk and mention ummul mu'minin hazrat khadijatul kubra radhiyallahu ta'ala anha who doesn't know her she is the woman who stood beside our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam during the most difficult time of his life i mean when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as prophet he was shivering because of the responsibility hazrat khadija tul kubra radhiyallahu ta'ala anha not only encouraged prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and ensured her but also she presented all of her wealth in the way of islam and we all know how prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam not only honored hazrat khadija tul kubra radhiyallahu ta'ala anha but even when she departed this world prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam highly respected and honored her friends saying that because of her friends khadija tul kubra radhiyallahu ta'ala anha's ruh would be pleased that her friends are being honored this is the beautiful message of islam we need to learn in this month of rabi lawal what a beautifully it is said about the character of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that la yumkinu sana kama kana haqquhu baad az khuda buzurg tui qissa mukhtasir you are listening to who is muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam a video series to honor and celebrate the life of our beloved prophet muhammad